Action! Day one. Um, right now is probably the quietest part for me of the day. We've started, so we start with breakfast, and uh, that, that actually comes before call time. So breakfast is optional, but usually people take up on the option. Call time today was at 7.30 in the morning, so we had our opening kind of speech, talk about safety, I kind of share my heart a little bit, and then the crew goes and starts setting up, and that always takes at least an hour to an hour and a half actors start to show up getting the makeup and all that and so during that time I usually just kind of relax a little bit read the script again prepare um, get my mind right it's once the day begins once we basically fire off the first shot and the first time I say action it's like and uh, and then I'm I'm on I'm trying to get better I'm hoping by the end of today I will have succeeded if I could have fit in a 20 to 25 minute nap or closing my eyes of some kind. I'm really trying to hard, work hard at getting better at that. I don't normally do it, but uh, I will consider today a success, even if the shooting doesn't go well. If I got a 20 to 25 minute nap, I'll be really happy. That would be success for me. But uh, today we are shooting um, uh, a couple scenes from episode three. And so uh, this is uh, Jesus and children. And uh, I won't say much more than that. One of my primary objectives for today is to make the children feel comfortable. So I want all six kids who are also not only uh, learning lines and memorizing lines, but trying a new accent for the first time. That's, uh, it's not gonna be an extremely long day today, but it's gonna be a bit of a nerve wracking day, just hoping that when the kids show up, they're actually ready and not too distracted. So we will see how today goes. If day one goes well, I'll feel a little bit better about the rest of the 29 days. We're here on day one of uh, the first four episodes uh, that we're going to be shooting. Um, wanted to touch base just a little bit and talk about kind of what has led us to this first day of shooting. Um, it, it's just been amazing to see what God will do, um, but what the devil will also try to do. Um, we've just had so many of these little nuisances come along and try to interrupt this first day. Um, I, I, I've produced about 13, 14 feature films, handful of TV shows, uh, and various projects, but I will say the uniqueness about this one, um, and I know that the, the, the scripture when it talks about fiery darts is, is talking about many things, but I think with this one, something that God showed me this last night when I was praying with my wife and a business partner and his wife, um, was that the, the devil has been throwing some interesting little fiery darts. So it's just amazing to see what the devil will try to do, but more amazing to see what God has done to get us to this day one. Um, as you can see, we're here, we're shooting, we're gonna do some amazing things. God's already doing some amazing things, not just in the show, but also in the people. We've already seen people get touched. Uh, we've been able to pray over people and do some pretty cool things um, that we're excited to see. So we're excited to be on The Chosen. We're excited to be day one of The Chosen going to be amazing. No movie wants to get made. No project wants to get made. Sometimes you have to wrestle it into submission. Um, I've been a lot part of a lot of day ones and this one's unique. I mean this one there's a lot of weight to it. Not, it's not too often that you get to you know tell the greatest story ever. It was like the enemy was hitting us left and right you know with all these different obstacles and yet uh, prayer prevailed. We have a lot of churches praying for this. A lot of you out there are praying for us and we need it. Need it every second. We need it uh, 24 hours a day. As we go through, we don't want to roll one frame that's contrary to the Word of God. We want to do it with excellence. We want to give God our best and uh, watch Him show up. And when we make room and we're seeking Him and His plan for it, uh, He gets to show up and show out. And so that's our prayer for this. Uh, we're praying for His guidance, His direction, uh, his leadership, and uh, uh, we appreciate all the support out there and all the prayers for the project. Today was a miracle. I mean, it took one full year of a lot of tears, a lot of frustration, a lot of prayer um, to get to this point, to, to this day. And what was so satisfying is seeing the team come together um, and have the crew work in harmony uh, with the cast and I think something was magical for me was actually watching the first scene as Jesus interacts with children. Um, it brought a tear to my eye. And I just, I think that tear was more knowing all the troubles and issues that we, that we face getting to this point and how many people just rallied around 
uh, producing this, praying for good weather and just the things that we, we truly need to pull this off because there was a lot of opposition. There was so much opposition uh, for this project, more than, than most projects. What I saw today, I can't wait for everyone to see that magic, that miracle, which is The Chosen. So day one is now in the books. I said at the beginning of the day, I was hoping to get in a 20 to 30 minute nap. No chance of that happening. It didn't happen. Um, but it was still a successful day. And there's two reasons why it was a successful day. One, we got one of my favorite scenes in the whole four episodes done and it looks great and the performances were great. But two, just the fact that we did what we did, the fact that we had a day one is in and of itself a bit of a miracle. Um, it has been a really long journey to get here. Um, so leading up into this week, we were praying for weather change. We were praying for everyone to get here on time. We were praying for all the choices that we were making or the choices that were being presented to us to somehow be better than what we were planning because every time we were planning, it just wasn't working. And then the solution was always better than we would have chosen and that's what's happened again. And so now here we are, Monday, October 22nd. We got day one in the books. It looks great. The people who are involved are better than we expected. So as usual, the plans that were made without us are better than the plans we made on our own. And that's what day one for me had been all about.